Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sophie Lloyd and I'm here with Guitar.com and this is My Guitars and Me. So this is my first Kiesel signature model. It is a uh, the SL6X, this one, this is the slightly more advanced version. I started designing this with Kiesel. I've been a Kiesel artist for ages. I've always loved their guitars, especially the Aries models. So I know I wanted an Aries model, but I just sort of, there were some tweaks that I wanted to make to make it like extra special. So this one is a black limber body, which I love because it's got similar tonal characteristics to mahogany that is quite like warm and rounded, kind of similar to how like a Gibson Les Paul would sound but then it's also got that, like it's way lighter. So you can kind of, and it's super balanced. So you could like run around stage, do silly things for up in the air without worrying too much about, you know, your back and your shoulders. Cause I'm only weak. So <laughs> I need like something a little bit lighter. So this is really good that it has that. The neck is a walnut neck. This one has a purple heart stripe as well, purely for looks. Cause it looks kind of sexy. It has a lot of good sustain. It makes it resonate. It's also really smooth to kind of, you know, move your hand around. It doesn't get caught or anything. And the fretboard on this is Royal Ebony, which it has the pretty little stripes. Again, very warm round. I kind of love that classic kind of Gibson Les Paul sound, but I wanted it in more of a shreddy kind of modern guitar with 24 frets that you can do a bunch of silly stuff with. So that's kind of what this is. And the extra silly thing, that I put into this is this pickup here. So this is a Sustainiac pickup um, and we've got a kill switch here and this is the little switches to activate the Sustainiac pickups. And basically what that does, it kind of makes a bunch of really silly sounds. It's, <laughs> it's purely for fun, <laughs> it really. It's, uh, it just makes the note like never die, basically. So it'll just, I, I don't know what, what it is about it. I don't know the electronics inside it, but it just makes the note carry on forever. And then it has three different like harmonics. So you can make it go really, really high, get really high harmonic in there. And then with the whammy bar, you can wail on it. You can do the kill switch. You can just make it sound super fun, super silly. So yeah, this is my, my signature baby. <laughs> So this Kiesel was my artist series from a few years ago. This was the first Kiesel I ever got. So I first came to discover Kiesels. It was actually through Rob Caggiano from Volbeat and he recommended uh, to have a little look at Kiesel and sent me their Instagram page. And I just fell in love with their guitars. I'd never seen anything like them. Just the, the creativity behind it, like the wood choices, like you could tell so much care and creativity went into designing those instruments. I just sort of on a whim messaged them being like, hey, wanna, like, I like your guitars. Do you maybe wanna like build a guitar? And they, you know, they sort of went out on a limb and, and said yes and agreed to kind of partner with me as an artist. And they kind of took that chance on me, which was really cool. And uh, they built me this one. Um, I chose all the specs for it. I chose the really pretty purple color that they like mixed special. So it's not, this isn't like a standard Kiesel color. This is one that they kind of made for me. And they sent it and it was just, honestly, from the word go, it was like the best guitar I'd ever played. I feel like getting this guitar like kind of leveled up my playing in a way. And I, I think it's just the ease of like how smooth it is and stuff. Like your fingers just kind of fly over the fretboard. Like you feel like you don't really have to search for the notes. They just kind of land under your fingers. That's what I found with this. Like when I got the keys, it just sparked so much creativity and I just wanted to write, I wanted to play. I wanted to do all these things that I hadn't like learned before I wanted to learn new genres and stuff and you know from then I just started writing a lot doing a lot more YouTube videos and the balls kind of you know rolled to to now where I am touring the world and doing some crazy shows and got our album coming out and stuff. <laughs> you can kind of see it has some little dinks in it here and this is actually shaved down because uh, once it got dropped on stage and I think like maybe the bass is swung into it or something. 
and there were some big chunks taken out of it. <laughs> and uh, we took it to Kiesel and they actually sort of filled it and painted it and shaved this down so it looks better. So they're very good at, at damage controlling my clumsiness, which is nice because <laughs> I feel like I need that. But um, yeah, like I like guitars that tell a story and that, you know, you can, they get a little bit gritty, you know, road worn. <laughs> is what I'd say. You should see my Gibson there. It's absolutely awful. But um, yeah, it's been, it's been tried and tested and it's, it's never failed me. <laughs> so this is my Manson Evo uh, and uh, it's got the Sustaniac in it as well. This one is really special to me because this was actually gifted to me by uh, Matt Bellamy from Muse, um, which was so wild. Like I've been a fan of Muse for so long. They've been one of my favorite bands growing up. And then just one, randomly one day, uh, he messaged me on Instagram, just replying to one of my videos. She'd be like, oh, you're awesome. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then we started talking and cause he, uh, I think co-owns Manson or something. So they sent me out this guitar because it was something I really wanted to try. I'd never even heard of a Sustaniac before. I have this unboxing video that's really embarrassing. We'll never see the light of day because I didn't know what it did and I was trying to figure out what it did. And I was like, why is it like ringing like that? It's so, how do I turn it off? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> little did I know I would grow to love it, but I like to think people are unboxing my signature guitar and having that same reaction. <laughs> like what the hell is this? <laughs> Yeah, it, it soon became one of my one of my favorite guitars, and it's just it was so cool. I did like a Muse Shred uh, cover over on YouTube where I sort of really delved into all of like the different features on it. But I just loved the combination of the Sustainia. You can see the kill switch here as well, which I've kind of taken elements of this and put it onto like the more Shred guitar because this was like this one I think is all maple. I I could be wrong with the body, but this is like a bit more lighter, so it's a little bit spankier which uh, is really cool for this guitar, but it's not um, its not kind of my sound that I, I go to a lot. Like it's, I guess, more Fender-y than, than Gibson. -y. So this is my Gibson Les Paul. This one is quite like nostalgic to me because this was the one that when I sort of decided I definitely wanted to be a professional musician, be a professional guitar player. My dad was like, if you can play the Stairway to Heaven solo, we can go out and buy you a guitar. And I was like, oh my God, that's so exciting. So I spent months trying to learn the Stairway to Heaven solo. I eventually sort of learned to play it on my on my little Yamaha Pacifica. And then uh, we went out and bought uh, this one, which is amazing. Um, it's a Les Paul model. It did come with the uh, electronic tuner, which I swiftly removed and uh, replaced with <laughs> the normal Grover tuning pegs, which was a good decision, I think. But um, yeah, this is sort of what really, where I developed my love for like the tone of Gibson's, like that really warm, round, old school rock and roll tone. I just, I absolutely love. So this is all mahogany, it's um, ebony fretboard. Like, I just think it's such a beautiful instrument and it just means a lot to me that it sort of signifies my decision to kind of go full time into music and to take that jump. I think this is what my first few YouTube videos were using this guitar, which is really special. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's very road worn. Uh, not intentionally, I did not buy it like that. <laughs> Please don't hate me, everyone that uh, treasures their guitars and polishes them every day. This has survived to me being a chaotic student at university, many drunken jam nights uh, <laughs> and everything. There are scratches all over it, but each one tells a story, I guess. Most of which I can't remember because I was probably a bit drunk, but <laughs> I'm sure there are stories there. Um, and yeah, it's just, it still sounds amazing. Like I'll still crack it out if I want like a deep, like chunky, heavy rhythm. It's a great one to have in the, um, in the bank when you're at a studio or something, because there's, you know, there's no sound that really matches it. Like I said, I think my, my Kiesel does a great job at, at standing against it and um, being a bit more shreddy, but like it gives them to just, you know, they have that renowned sound that you just can't really emulate, emulate I guess, because of the mahogany. And yeah, it's just a beautiful guitar. 